Caution, this video contains sensitive subject matter and views you may not agree with. Please keep an open mind and respect others' views. Now, if you guys out there have some connections and you see what I'm talking about and you want to spread it, spread it. Share this video. Seriously, share this video. It's going to be probably a two-parter talking about these, but share it. Share it. Let everybody know we need to stop looking at ourselves as a race and start thinking of ourselves as humans. That's it. it there's one thing that pisses me off, and it pisses me off just, just so freaking much. And I'm going to say it was my brother's fucking wife. And I'm going to say it just because, you know what, they're wrong as hell. They called me out for judging people. You know what, I judge people. Yeah, I go to Walmart and I see those assholes walking around in their pajama bottoms. Or I see that person that's 700 freaking pounds and a rascal that doesn't need to be in a rascal. Because they can get up and better their lives, but they won't because they have no motivation and nobody's going to help them. And I judge that. I judge it because it's a personality trait in people. I'm not judging it because of the person they are. I'm judging it because of their personality trait. If they were to look at a mirror, stand there, and really think about their life decisions. And what the hell is this? to move forward as a people we need to realize that we we can't keep doing this we need to stop and uh, let me get back to what i was saying about my brother's wife she called me out now i used to go to the smoke shop all the time because i smoked hookah and i liked getting my shisha and shit from there my coals and there was an attractive black lady that worked in there and there was an attractive white girl that worked in there and it, it was not about race but she she seems to think it is. I don't care if she's black. I don't care if she's Asian, Mexican. I don't give a fuck. But she thought it had to do with the race because I found the white girl more attractive. And it's not because of that. It's down to personality for me. When you're sitting there and you're yelling at the top of your lungs and you're calling people shit and you're talking out and just, just being... Oh, it like like in your face obnoxious that annoys the hell out of me because I I don't like that it's not a personality trait that I like and she happened to be that that girl and I didn't like it and there was a white girl that worked there that was the same way she's just in your face loud obnoxious and it pissed me off I hated it but nonetheless it's one of those things people need to stop thinking about race we need to stop caring about what each other's race is if you're a father and you're pissed off at your daughter because she's dating a black dude or a mexican guy fuck you dude you're one of the problems with america it shouldn't matter who the fuck they're dating hell i seen a girl just a month or so ago who's arabic and she was very attractive to me. I found her very attractive. Um, I'm a shy individual, and she has a boyfriend, so I didn't say anything on it, but she was very attractive. It doesn't matter what the race are. Hell, when I was working at one of my past jobs, I was very interested in this girl who was black. Now, that's the thing. I think if more people had that mindset that it shouldn't matter who the person is, or who they're dating or anything like that, we would be better off as as a society. I'm not gonna go that way, I've seen cars down there. Yeah, there's cars down there, I'm not gonna bother. But I think if we stop caring about that, that persona that they're black, they're white, they're Asian, they're Mexican, and started thinking about each other as people, we would move forward so much quicker. And another thing that that's on that is religion. I'm not saying that people shouldn't have religion. Don't take that from what I'm about to say. 
I cannot stress it enough. I think religion is very important in a lot of people's lives. I, for one, don't. I, I, I don't have religion, and it's not because I never tried or I didn't care. When I was in high school, there was a point in my life when I was very confused about what I should believe. <clears throat> it happens to everyone. But I chose to go and explore different religious opportunities that were presented to me. Everything from uh, going to a Jewish temple to Christianity and Catholic and everything in between. I have looked into it. And I'm not the person that that needs religion in my life. I, I understand things enough to know how to get by. I understand it's a don't be an asshole. I, I don't need a Bible or a book to tell me my religion or how I should act as a human being. I believe if you act as a decent human being, that's all you should need. And people are going to say, oh, you're agnostic. I am not. I will let you know right now, I am not agnostic. I do not believe in any entity at all. I am atheist, and this is the first time I'm saying it on video, and it's gonna shock you guys, but please don't let that obscure your judgment of me. I strongly believe that people need religion, and they should have religion. Some people really need it. People that were addicted to drugs have been in abusive relationships. Religion can help a lot because it gives people a backing. That, uh, it, it gives people a backing that they could rest on, and really, it really helps them. 